Why what? Like, why are we here? Why are we here? Why is it that, okay, your question. Well, all this madness? Uh-huh. This, that, the things that's going on every day in the news, young black brothers get killed, killing each other? Why? Give me that, Isaiah. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 20. I want you to listen to this. This is the reason why. Because while we come out here is to teach blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that we are the Israelites. That's right. How do we know that? When you read in Deuteronomy chapter 28, we're going to show you, right? Watch this. Read this. Isaiah 51 and verse 20. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 20. Bring it out. You ask, why is it that the young brothers is getting shot down in the street, right? Why are we here? Watch this. Read it. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets. So now, the Bible says, thy sons have fainted. And we lie at the head of all the streets. What does it mean that we have fainted? It means that what we have lost who we truly are. We have lost the identity of who God called us, right? right. It says our sons have fainted and what? As thy sons have fainted. Uh -huh. They lie at the head of all the streets. So now as prophecy, God says we're going to lie at the head of all the streets. Any hood you go to, where do you see young black men like you just asked? You see them at the head of every street. Why? Because what? They want to sell drugs, right? In their community. You see the young daughters prostituting their bodies, right? Watch this, come on. As a wild bull in a net. As a wild bull in a net. Why? Because we have nothing that can keep us under subjection and control. We lie at the head of the, all the streets as a wild bull in a net, come on. They are full of fury of the Lord. The rebuke of thy God. And guess what? The net is going into the trap. What trap? The trap where you sell drugs. That's a trap. The education system, that's a trap. God says that we are as wild bulls in a net. Read that part one more time. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of fury of the Lord. Now, the Bible says we are full of the fury of the Lord. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because now I'm about to ask you a question. He says, why is it that we're in this condition? Why is it that we're here? Why we're here is to keep the commandments of God. You said, if God loves us. If God loves us, why put us here? Why he put us here? Watch this. If this God tested us. Okay, let me show you. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Read verse 1 now. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. So now, what are we bringing out? We're bringing out black history in the Bible. This is going to show you your face in the book. Now, we are. And do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So now, this is Moses speaking. He says, look, if you keep the commandments, because God only gave his laws and his commandments to the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. right? He says when he gave us the law, statutes, and commandments, that we were supposed to keep them. And in doing so, we were supposed to rule the earth. We were supposed to be the kings and the gods of the earth. But let's see what happened. Verse 15. Read that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. No. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses says, it shall come to pass, meaning in the future. This is going to happen if you don't hearken. Hearken means to hear. Listen. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. And to observe, meaning learn and do the commandments. Come on. And his statutes. And his statutes, which is the sub-laws. Read which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses, all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now, curses, God says, curses, which is what? Is a curse a good thing or bad thing? It can go both ways? Okay, hold where you at, go to Jeremiah 6, 19. So now, he said, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curses. Watch this. Jeremiah 6, verse 19. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 19. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, 
because they have not hearkened unto because they have what because they have not hearkened so what did moses say he says if you don't hearken curses are going to come upon you now we read jeremiah it says evil will come upon you if you don't hearken so curses is evil things so now we're going to read some of those evils we read one one of those curses is what that we will be in the uh, in the heads of all the streets and we will be like bulls in a net right now read verse 16 read Deuteronomy 28 verse 16 you know? Cursed shall thou be in the city so now God says as the Israelites we will be cursed in the city now tell me what goes on in our cities in our communities hell 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 hell, hell. hell. where you at go to Isaiah 5 and 13 Watch this. So now, hell goes on in our community. What are some of those hell, hell-like things or conditions? Shit, violence. Violence, crime. Crime, starvation. The, starvation. Drugs, homelessness. Poverty. Poverty. Homelessness. What'd you say? Homelessness. 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 What about the black man not being in his, uh, in his children's life? Not being in a household. That's another way of being cursed in the hood, poverty. right? And the cursed in the city. They goes along with poverty. It goes along with poverty. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. Because he said, hell, read. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. Bring it out. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. So now, God says, therefore, my people. Who is God's people? The children of Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're God's people. He says, my people have what? Have gone into captivity. Into what? Into captivity. Captivity is slavery. Slavery. God says, my people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to go through captivity, read, because they have no knowledge. Uh -huh. Knowledge of what? Self. Knowledge of self. self. Knowledge of what? God's laws. God says we're going to go into slavery because we don't know who we are and because we lack knowledge of self, read. And their honorable men are famished. Now, who are our honorable men? Supposedly our leaders. God says they are weak, famished, read on. And their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore, hell has enlarged herself. It says, therefore, hell has enlarged itself. Because we have no knowledge of this Bible, because we don't have knowledge of God's law, statutes, and commandments, God says we are going to go through hell. We're going to go through hell. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16 again. Read on. Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Uh -huh. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So now, look at the bottom of that image. Who was in them cotton fields? Who was in the sugar cane fields? Who was in the tobacco fields? Blacks and Hispanics, your ancestors. That's we right. went through that. So what are we showing you? Black history in the Bible. Right. This That's is right. Black History 101. Your parents were supposed to teach you this when you was younger. That's, That's right. Why? Because knowing that you are God's people, what is that going to do to your self-esteem? What is that going to do to your morale? Would you see blacks and Hispanics on the street selling crack to each other? No. We'll look at each other as gods. We'll look at each other as we see Christ in one another. That's because right. the officer just brought out the image of Christ. Christ is a black man just like you. That's right. That's right. All the prophets, and we're going to go into that. All the prophets, all of the prophets in the Bible are black. What's your question? I'm going through hell here when I leave this earth. What, where do I go? After death, right? Or after this? Okay, we're gonna get to that. It's now. hell here. It's hell here. It's hell here, right? It's hell here. Okay, so watch this. this. What happens? Okay, watch this. Now, read verse 48, because we're still proving, according to the Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 28 is the chapter proving who we are. Now, read verse 48, because I'm gonna finish up your first question. I wasn't done. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Now, the Bible says we are going to serve our enemies, which God sent against us. The Most High God sent those nations against us. Why? Why is that? To test us. Why did the Bible say? We read in verse 15. Because we broke the commandments. God himself sent the nations against us. He put the spirit upon them to come and grab us up and take us from the west coast of Africa and bring us over here. You understand? God did that. Watch this. Read on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, 
and in thirst and in nakedness. And hunger, thirst, and nakedness. When it comes to the, the necessities of life, right? You need food to survive. You need water to survive. God says we're going to have to go to another nation for those things. It says even your clothes. Watch this. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. What is that all things? Your religion, your education, your knowledge of self. Because who taught us that you was African American? Who taught you that? Who taught you you was Dominican? No, the so-called white man gave them that name. That's right. That's right. Watch this. Go to Isaiah chapter 65 verse 15. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 15. The white man gave us our nationalities. But what we're showing you is that God already has something for you. God, watch this. Read that. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 15. Bring it out. And you shall leave your name for a curse. God says as a curse, you're going to leave your name. Read. Unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee. Read, read it again. For the Lord God shall slay thee. God says through me slaying you, through using what? The nations, you're going to leave your name as a curse. Is that it on there? Read on. And call his servants by another name. Now, who are the servants of God? The Israelites. God says you're going to be called by another name. Those other names is going into who? The Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, which means dogs of God. We didn't name ourselves that. Why, why would we call ourselves dogs of God? Right. Rich ports. We didn't name ourselves that. The other nations did that. But what I'm showing you is that God put that spirit upon them to do it to us. Because why? We broke God's commandments. Right. That's right. Now, give me Deuteronomy 32 and 26. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26. Bring it out. I said, I would scatter them into corners. So now, God says he will scatter the Israelites into corners. Read. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. So now, we left our name. Why? Because when we were scattered amongst all nations, God says, read that last part again. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. So now, your remembrance going into your memory, you will no longer remember your true nationality. You understand that? You understand that? So now, what was your second question again? Did y'all you, you understand? Now that I know this, what's next for me to be a part of this? What's next to be a part of this? Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Because what are we showing? Give me Ephesians chapter 4, 3 and verse 23. 4 and 23. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 23. Because what we teach is first, nationality. After you learn who you truly are, what is your next step? Watch this. Let's see. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 23. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 23. Bring it out. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. What? Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So what are we teaching a black man? To be renewed. To be renewed. It's time for you to renew who you think you are. It's time for you to renew your actions because God is a man of action. You understand? And he want to see your steps towards what? Acts 319. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. This is how you join us. This is how you get your mind right. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Read that. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore. What? Repent ye therefore and be converted. Be what? And be converted. Who can tell me what conversion means? Who, who can tell me what it means to convert? Change over. To change over. To change what though? Change back to where we're supposed to be. What did we just read? Change your whole mind you must change your mind. From what? From thinking that you a Negro. To thinking you a real nigga. Because that's not who you are. God calls you an Israelite. You're a chosen priesthood. That's right. Hey. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.